If you're ever in the back rooms, you should never enter this level. Back rooms level run for your life is an incredibly dangerous level. In the first area, you will find two doors. In one door, you can see hundreds of dangerous entities. You will need to open the second door, which leads to a 10 kilometer long hallway that looks like a modern hospital. The hallway has large obstacles that sometimes appear. Seconds after leaving the first area, the door containing the entities will finally break down. To escape, run to the end of the hallway. Energy bars as well as almond water can be found in the level to help you do so. Later in the level, you need to be careful while running, as traps appear on the floor. The creepiest thing about the level is that the entities adjust to your running speed, and if you get caught by the entities, you will be killed in a slow and painful way. If you see an exit door but see another hallway, do not go into the door, as it is a false exit and it will lead to an empty room. Once you're at the end, you will be sent to a random backrooms level. One of the most dangerous backrooms levels is level 0. 0.01. It appears to resemble level zero, except with scars of wear and decay. The level has a bunch of corridors that appear to be infinite. After 500 to 1,000 miles of wandering the corridors, your sanity will start going down drastically. It is recommended to bring copious amounts of almond water, or else you will turn into a wretch. If you travel 2,500 miles into the level, you will start to experience hallucinations of fake exits. Physical doors will then start to appear at 5,000 miles, which will lead to the start of this level. At 10,000 miles, the wallpaper will look damaged and torn. Holes will start appearing on the floor that lead to the void. Fake exit doors appear everywhere on the ceiling and in mid-air, and the mental hazard will get so bad that it will start to hurt. You can enter this level by finding an out-of-place fire exit door in any level, and once entered, you can't get out. To enter the back room, you must no-clip out of reality. There isn't a guaranteed method of achieving this. However, it's possible to increase your chances. Firstly, you can try to find an entrance. These are glitches in reality that lead to the back rooms. These entrances include walls that are a shade darker than normal or don't cast a shadow, doors that didn't exist previously and appear to be out of place, and areas that give a sense of unease. However, keep in mind that if you enter the back rooms, you'll likely never get out. If a baby were to enter the back room, here's what would actually happen. Firstly, if the baby were to no clip into level zero, it'll basically be dead as soon as it enters, as it is impossible to meet humans in level zero, and there are no resources here, meaning the baby will either starve or die from thirst. There are cases of people no clipping into level one or level two instead of level zero, although it is very unlikely. But if the baby were to no clip into level one, there's a high chance it'll survive, as it is possible to meet other people here. However, if it were to no clip into level two, there's a very low chance the baby will survive due to the high temperatures and dangers of the level. Do not be fooled by this backrooms level. Backrooms level 1.77, also known as the uninhabitable zone, is one of the most dangerous backrooms levels. It resembles its parent level known as level 1, except it's extremely dangerous. Like its parent level, it has supply crates scattered around the level. However, instead of containing useful stuff in them, they contain boxes filled with liquid paint. The level is also very hard to exit, and not clipping almost always leads to the void. To exit the level, make your way to the core of the level and jump through a crack, which will lead you to level 1. Watch out for entities, however, because the level is infested with them and the core is where they come from. If while wandering the back rooms you find a house that looks similar to your house in the front rooms, do not enter it. In the back rooms, there exists an entity known as the Phantoms. It takes the appearance of a house that looks similar to the Wanderer's real-life house so the entity can trap them. The house also has facelings that take the appearance of the Wanderer's family. After you enter the house, the entrance will immediately shut behind you. At this point, it is over for you, because after a few minutes in this house, the floor will dissipate and a giant mouth will swallow you whole. There have been no recorded escapes from this entity, meaning it is impossible to escape from it. Luckily, the entity is rare, however it is still incredibly dangerous and should not be messed with. A place in the backrooms you never want to end up in is the broken. It is basically the dumping grounds of the backrooms and it is extremely dangerous, unstable, and glitchy. It is a wasteland of unused, discarded data deleted from the backrooms database. The broken is rumored to be the place where the backrooms gets much of its hostile and unstable energy. The chaotic nature of the broken is theorized to be the result of a messy conglomeration of discarded levels merged into one. Making contact with anything in the level will turn you into corrupted data and the broken has no known entrances or exits, so if you end up in the level you'll likely never get out. The void of the back rooms appears to be, well, nothingness. Once you enter this level, you can't get out, and you will be doomed to fall for eternity. The void also seems to give you immortality, making it technically one of the safest back rooms levels. The void can make someone go crazy very quickly, however, and worst of all, there are a lot of ways to get here. The weirdest back rooms level by far is level 12. It is also one of the simplest back rooms levels, being just a small, brightly lit, white painted room containing a table and a chair.
chair, as well as a locked door. What makes the level weird is not only its simpleness, but a weird effect the level has where any recordings or photographs of the level become censored as they turn into either a simple white image or a mass of noise and TV static. The level is safe, however, and no entities have been reported. Did you know that the Backrooms has infinite levels? Backrooms level infinity appears to be a plain terminal that stretches on forever. It is relatively safe during the day, but extremely dangerous at night, because at nighttime, most known Backrooms entities can be sighted here. This level is solid evidence that the Backrooms are truly infinite, with no way of escape or hope to return to the real world. It is recommended to leave the level quickly, as you will start to hallucinate after being in the level for too long. In order to escape, board any of the planes through the boarding station. After you do that, you will be sent to a surprise level. However, it is not recommended to board an airplane on September 11th. The worst thing that can ever happen to you in the backrooms is turning into a wretch. Wretches are wanderers who have been deformed by the toll that the backrooms has taken on them. These creatures can be spotted in many levels and are almost always hostile. If while in the backrooms you experience symptoms like hallucinations and delusions, immediately drink almond water as this is your last chance to treat the transformation. If you don't treat it, you will continue turning into a wretch and the symptoms will get worse and worse. Once you reach stage 3 of the transformation and become this deformed thing, then you're fucked. Because past this point, it is impossible to save you and you will be damned to wander the back rooms forever. The hub of the back rooms appears to be an infinite interconnected network of tunnel systems. The tunnels are lined with evenly spaced doors that lead to their respective level. The doors are locked, however, and you need a key from the key master entity in order to open them. The level is extremely safe, but if you enter a dangerous level by accident, you will be fucked. If you kill someone in the back rooms, there would be some horrible outcomes. Firstly, karma levels such as level 999 would be very hostile towards you. Level 999 is basically an amusement park where the roller coasters are either dangerous or safe depending on your karma. If you have good karma, not only will the roller coaster be extremely safe, but you will be sent to safe levels such as level 3999. However, if you have bad karma, the roller coaster will look like a death trap and you'll be sent to dangerous levels such as level 666. Murder is the worst thing you can do in the back rooms and will immediately land you horrible karma in this level. Level safe at last appears to be a location in the back rooms that you can get sent to when you're in immense danger or while experiencing fear and other emotions. Getting sent here is astronomically rare, however, and all entrances are unconfirmed. The level resembles a twilight suburb slightly immersed in an obscure snow-like substance that appears to be rising at a slow rate. Not a whole lot is known about the level, as very few have been sent here. However, it is estimated to be about 600 kilometers in length. The level is extremely safe and has no confirmed entities. Level 6.1 of the back rooms is a large food court filled with restaurants and bars. It is a very safe level with all dangerous entities that enter the level being given a docility spell. It is one of the safest back rooms levels as it acts as refuge for all wanderers in the back rooms due to the immense amounts of food and resources present on the level, or at least that was what it used to be. Entities in the level suddenly started to lose the docility spell and started to show symptoms of aggressiveness. After that, the entities took over the level and made it abandoned, and it is now a class dead zone. Nowadays, you can find puddles of liquid pain on the floor, and most of the food items present in the level seem to be unedible. The level is also infested with dangerous entities with higher hostility than usual. To exit the level, simply shatter a window, which will lead to level 166. You can also find a rusty metal door and go through it, which will lead to level 6. A backrooms level that you never want to enter is the Lonesome Supermarket. It is one of the most dangerous backrooms levels. The level resembles a supermarket in the front rooms right before closing down, with shelves having missing products and the supermarket being devoid of furniture and supermarket equipment. Stores in the level also appear to be closing down. This level is dangerous because not only are resources scarce and usually in a bad state, but if you travel far enough into the supermarket, roofs will start falling, walls will start falling unexpectedly, and metal doors will start jamming when you least expect it. Avoid falling roofs because whenever a roof falls over, you will be led to a part of the level called the empty, which looks similar to the void except highly unstable and dangerous. The level contains a warehouse and here, dangerous entities wander in it and if they see you, you will be fine. It is unknown how to enter the level, however there's unconfirmed reports of wanderers in the end going through random double doors and ending up here. However due to the randomness of the end, it's unknown whether these reports are true or false. To exit the level, find a door that leads to level 0. These are the three backrooms levels that you should never enter. Firstly, is the red rooms. The red rooms is basically level 0 except everything is in a dark red color. Turning a corner in level 0 has a chance to bring you here and if you are unfortunate enough to end up in this level, you will be fucked as the level has no exit and you will painfully die of either thirst or starvation within days. Second is level origin. This level is basically just an empty infinite dead space. It has no oxygen meaning you will suffocate and die within minutes. Third is level negative 922. This level is a super glitchy and unstable
Fable Abyss. If you somehow stumble upon it, you will be consumed by the level with no possible escape. While exploring the back rooms, you may come across the Red Rooms. The Red Rooms is a sub-area of level 0. It takes resemblance from its parent level, except everything is a dark red color. The Red Rooms are not dangerous, however they are either really difficult to escape or even impossible, as all the wanderers that enter them are never heard from again. There's a small chance you will come across the rooms whenever you turn a corner in level 0. If you go into them, you will be fucked and railed hard, because as soon as you enter them, the entrance will shut and you will remain stuck until you die from either starvation or thirst. If while wandering the back rooms you hear someone speaking random words and phrases, run. Entity 11, known as Skin Stealers, are large humanoid creatures inhabiting the first four levels of the back rooms with occasional reports of their presence in other levels. They have the ability to steal and wear the skin of their victims as a disguise, enabling them to mimic human appearance. They have sunken white eyes and pale yellowish skin covered in microscopic bumps resembling octopus suckers. These bumps are so they can wear and mess with the skin until it appears identical to a real human. Skin Stealers are typically docile and will wander aimlessly if they are not hungry. However, when in a hunger state, they start seeking out humans to tear apart with their strength so they can consume them and steal their skin. They also have an impressive ability to mimic human speech, although they don't know what the actual hell they're saying. There have been a lot of sightings of skin stealers, making them very common entities in the backroom. What are the most dangerous backrooms levels? Well, the most dangerous levels by far are the enigmatic levels. They are levels that are very mysterious or different compared to all the other levels. Some of the most dangerous and most famous backrooms levels fall into this category, such as level run for your life, level fun, the void, among many other incredibly dangerous levels. They are not all dangerous as level heaven is considered an enigmatic level, but all the enigmatic levels seem to ignore the rules of normal backrooms levels, with some being otherworldly dimensions rather than liminal spaces. Backrooms level 37, also known as the pool rooms, is a series of interconnected rooms and hallways that are slightly submerged in lukewarm water. The level uses white ceramic tiles and the water is blue and has a naturally calming effect however sometimes it has a blue-green tint. Lighting is inconsistent, causing some areas to be fully lit up and causing others to be shrouded in complete darkness. The level is very safe and has no entities. However, in the darker sections of the level there exists a bacterium called the hydrolytis plague. It is very contagious as it spreads through air. The symptoms include weakness, high fever, extreme pain, and even delirium if infected for long enough. So whatever you do, do not go into the darker areas of the level. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what videos I should make next.